Hello, welcome back to my channel, my lovely reading friends. Today we are gonna read Peppa and her golden books. Let's read them. It was the day of the big puddle jumping competition. Peppa and her friends were practicing jumping up and down in muddy puddles. My daddy always wins, boasted Peppa. He says the first rule of puddle jumping is to wear your boots. And mine are very special because they are made of gold. They are not gold, replied Sushishi. They are yellow. They are not yellow. They are real plastic gold, protested Peppa. Would anyone like some orange juice? Called Mommy Pig from the house. Yes, please, replied everyone. They ran inside, leaving their boots outside the front door. When Peppa and her friends had finished their juice, they headed outside to put their boots. Oh no, my boots have gone, sobbed Peppa. Mr. Zebra arrived with the post. I have just seen a dog with boots on, he said. Peppa sniffed. Were they gold? No, it's yellow, he replied. Mr. Duck came running down the hill wearing Peppa's golden boots. Peppa ran after her. Mrs. Duck, can I have my boots back, please? But Mrs. Duck did not want to give Peppa's boots back. She didn't stop running until reached Captain Dog's boat. No one could stop Mrs. Duck. She leaped into the water and swam away. Captain Dog started his engine. I think my boat can go faster than the duck, he exclaimed. But Captain Dog's boat could not keep up the Mrs. Duck. Hmm, that's fast, Duck, he said. Mrs. Duck finally stopped at Little Island, where Grampy Rabbit had been shipwrecked. When his boat capsized, Mrs. Duck has my boots and she won't give them back, Peppa called. Don't worry, Peppa, replied Grampy Rabbit. Mrs. Duck has nowhere to go. But then Mrs. Duck started flying and she was still wearing the boots. Oh no, cried Peppa. Mrs. Duck is flying to the moon with my boots. Don't worry, Peppa, said Grampy Rabbit, pointing to the neighboring island. We'll take my rocket. Oh, I really don't think Peppa's boots will be on the moon, said Mummy Pig. Nonsense, instead Grampy Rabbit, helping everyone into the rocket. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. On the moon, Peppa and her friends searched everywhere for Mrs. Duck and the golden boots. Let us and the stop, suggested Sushi Sheep. You don't get shops on the moon, exclaimed Daddy Pig. Postcards, called Miss Rabbit from inside her gift shop. Ice cream, buckets and spades. Meanwhile, Grandpa Pig had spotted Mrs. Duck in his garden. Those aren't your boots, are they? He asked. He quickly dialed Daddy Pig's number. Hello, Grandpa Pig, said Daddy Pig. Yes, Peppa has lost some boots. We'll be right there. Next stop, Grandpa Pig's garden, announced Grampy Rabbit. Peppa bounced excitedly out of the rocket. My boots, my golden boots, she exclaimed. Thank you, Grandpa. Grandpa Pig helped Peppa to put her boots on 
now we can go to the puddle jumping competition said mommy big oh yes a great daddy big we better hurry the big puddle jumping competition was about to begin first up daddy big cried mr propotato daddy big took a giant leap and made a big splash then it was mr elephant's turn and mr elephant made an even bigger splash mr elephant is the winner announced mr protato peppa cleared her throat please can i have a go too she asked oh of course replied mr potato and can all my friends help peppa added mr elephant was not pleased ah uh, hang on i don't think that's really it sounds perfectly fair for me interrupted daddy pig peppa and her friends formed a circle and held hands Five, four, three, two, one. They all chanted, "Jump!" Peppa and her friends made the biggest splash ever. Peppa and her friends are the winners, declared Mr. Potato. Um, I still think, began Mr. Elephant. Hooray! Anyone? cheered lovely Peppa loved her golden boots everyone loved their boots and everyone loved the big model jumping competition Thank you for watching my video I hope you enjoy it there will be more coming soon so look out for the next one and please subscribe see you soon bye bye the cute kids